Thank you for singing. Uh, Adrian is a poet, activist, singer, and uh, he's been around for a, a while. He's been in this longer than I have. So, uh, Adrian, uh, come on up. Give him a round of applause. Uh, I hope that doesn't mean you're saying uh, I'm older. You're older. older. <laughs> Oops. Because I'm not sure what's that. But, but I may be. I may be. Um, let me tell you about my songwriting. Years ago, I wrote occasionally and mostly poetry back in my early college years. And then around in 2003, I was a member of a church where they were playing a lot of different music. And, and I also was influenced by something that I, that's called contradancing. With, uh, in which there was a lot of traditional music. So all this mixture of music, and uh, somehow it worked out that I started writing lots of songs, or lyrics to establish tunes a lot, most of the time, but occasionally I made up a tune of myself. And, um, and I was in a church where there were a lot of get-togethers, and I got to know a lot of people, and, and there were a uh, number of large families, and, and, and they celebrated birthdays together and all kinds of special occasions, and I became, I became the person who wrote the song or the poem for the special occasion. Well, this first one I'm going to do, there's this couple named Jason and Julie Brown. And... Um, they had a couple of children when I first met them. They were young children. And uh, it, it just so happened that uh, you know, it was Jason, Julie, and Jude, and Janie. All these J's, JV's. And, um, and then we had something called Hope Stock. It was a summer get-together. It, it usually was around the 4th of July. Uh, so it lasted maybe three, three days, a couple of nights, something like that. And they always had a talent show. Well, I won't tell you about the first time I sang a talent show, but uh, later on that year, or a couple of years after that, I wrote this. And I wrote something about Jason and Julie, but there wasn't a particular occasion to present it to them. So at the, the following year, a few months later, I, uh, they had people sitting around and they, would, and they were encouraged to get up and tell stories about other people. Now this can be a dangerous thing. <laughs> and, and some of them were quite embarrassing, and uh, particularly between, uh, among couples. And I'm sure there were, was a lot more to said after they left uh, among the couples. But I thought, well, this is an opportunity. And, um, and it just so happened that I had it with me. And, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead. It, well, the thing was, it was never finished. And I, as I go along, you can see why. <clears throat> Jason and Julie were married in Texas a few years ago. Together since then they determined they wanted their family to grow. To keep all the naming consistent, they all would begin with a J. There's Jude and there's Janie and Jonah, another one now on the way. They wanted to have a large family, quite willing to do their own part. There's JB and JB and JB, yes, they're off to quite a good start. We wonder how many are coming. Perhaps they'll be twins, don't you know? They'll all have initials of JB. I think that's the way it will go. And so, a few months later, six months later, I was standing in line and I wrote these next few lines on a napkin. So I would have it for that group. 
Six months have passed since I wrote this. There's one thing that I like to say. There's Judy, and there's Janie, and Jonah, and Jillian's with us today. <laughs> well, I thought that was the end of that song. They had, their, uh, they had four kids at that point. But, uh, here goes, uh, more verse, another verse here. The story of Jason and Julie continues right up to today. The fifth child they named Jeremiah. <laughs> the sixth child arrived just this May, May of 2010. And then, about that time, they were moving to Missouri. So they left Virginia, went to Missouri. And um, and so here goes. It wasn't finished yet. Matter of fact, I finished this afternoon on the computer uh, because I had to look up to, to figure out what the name of the last child was. Okay, here it goes. Josephine Brown was the youngest. <coughs> then another JB came to stay. Yes, Joel is the name of the seventh. All seven whose names start with J. It's been a long time now since Texas. In Virginia, they just could not stay. Mercer is the home of this clan now. All the first names begin with a J. <laughs> They still do it, but they um, at one time when they had like four or five kids, they were homeschooling the kids too. So, <laughs> um, hmm? yeah. Got to do another? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, I mentioned. Well, thank you, Adrian. Yeah. Um, I've always been amazed at how he writes for particular situations. And mm -hmm. We um, we always used to make meet at Greg's house. Greg's over here with Ann, and uh, work on um, uh, in their songwriting group, and mm -hmm. it was I, I was always amazed and very impressed with uh, how you did that. Next is.